What is going on guys? This is Earpugs, and in this video I am going to be covering how to get the most amount of PvP gear in the least amount of time once Phase 2 is out for TBC. As you may know already, in Phase 2, they are allowing you to buy the equivalent gear of a blue High Warlord piece that you would get with Honor during Phase 1, and you can now buy that with Reputation from one of the five major factions. Those being Thralmar if you are a Horde player, Honor Hold for Alliance, and for both factions, Scenarian Expedition, the Shatar, Lower City, and Keepers of Time. This next part of the video I'm going to break up into classes. If you are a Priest, a Druid, a Shaman, or a Paladin, then this part is for you. If you are not those classes, then check the timestamps and your part is next. Since you are these classes, you can actually buy two pieces of Reputation gear per vendor, whereas the other classes can only buy one piece per vendor. That's because you have multiple specializations, so you can actually buy gear for both specs and use it at the same time. For example, let's say you are a priest, and you are disciplined, so a healing priest, and you are revered with Keepers of Time and Thralmar. You can already buy four pieces from just these two factions. For example, the Satin Hood from Thralmar and Honor Hold, as well as the Mooncloth Chest, and then from Keepers of Time, the Mooncloth Legs and Satin Gloves. This would already give you the plus 70 resilience you would get, because you would have two Mooncloth pieces and two Satin pieces, thus giving you two two-set bonuses of 35 resilience, which do stack. From there, if you wanted to go into Healer Shoulders, you would just get Revered with Scenarian, and you now have a full five set of gear. Each vendor sells different pieces for different classes, so you need to look it up yourself and figure out which route you want to take for your class and specialization. I've included links to all five factions in the description below. If you don't want to hear about the other classes, then just skip to the part where it says AH gear. This part of the video is now for hunters, mages, warlocks, rogues, and warriors. For these classes, each vendor will only give you one piece of gear. So you want to do your research ahead of time and see which pieces you need specifically. Obviously, if you're looking for the full five set, then go ahead and grab them all. But if you already have some purples and some slots, then maybe just skip those. I have linked all five factions in the description below that will show you who sells what and also how to get that faction's rep. The most important thing you can do though is to ensure that you at least get two pieces so you get the plus 35 resilience bonus so that is massive when you are under geared. You can also combine that with the High Warlord and or Grand Marshal set. So for example, let's say you're playing a rogue. You can grab the two piece bonus off of the Opportunist leather set which comes from the reputation. And then if you also have some extra honor points, you can buy two pieces of the honor gear, seeing as they have identical stats, and that would give you two two-piece bonuses of plus 35 resilience. So an extra 70 resilience for free, which is absolutely fantastic, especially when you're undergeared. This also applies to the gladiator sets as well. And you may be saying to yourself, well, I'm just going to run with PvE gear only, and I'm not going to pick up any resilience. Here is a clip of one of my guildies and myself running with almost no resilience, and you can see how well it goes for us. No, that's a lot of damage! And after you have your 5 set, you can go right to the auction house and pick up the thick fell steel necklace. If you're still in need of some resilience and health, it will give you 360 health along with 23 Brazil. You of course can also pick up the Unyielding Girdle and Bracers if you are a caster, and if you are a melee, you can pick up the Heavy Felsteel Ring to give you 21 Stamina, 25 Strength, and 13 Resil. If you are grinding the Dungeon Shadow Labs for Lower City Rep and you happen to have the Towers taken, make sure you are saving those Spirit Shards as once you reach 50, you can buy a Best In Slot Ring for a caster and a melee, whichever you are. You can also pick up the headpiece for a much less amount of spirit shards. However, if you can grab that off of the rep vendor, it's going to have better stats by a decent amount. If you happen to be on a server that has a balanced amount of horde and alliance, you may be able to go to Hala in the Grand and then grind out those tokens with kills, which doesn't take too long, and you can actually pick up a decent belt for your class. But if your server is not balanced, I would not recommend the Hala strategy because if there's nobody to kill, then you technically can never get the gear. So if you don't know what your server's balance is, then you can check out Ironforge Pro. It will be in the description. I have also included links to all five reputation guides below that will show you the gear that each of them sells along with how to actually grind out that reputation. This is the first gear guide that I've ever made. So if this is helpful in any way, liking it is the biggest thank you you can give to me. If you want to see more TBC Arena content, then definitely sub, because I will be continuing to put out videos. 
Let me know in the comments below what you want to see from me next, and I really appreciate you watching.